front of these politicians, they are going to be killed, you know, but they're going to go strong like that all the way, you know, but those are special spirits, you know, and they can handle it. Facts, because uh, to you righteous out there, the Lord will not put uh, nothing on nothing on you that you can't handle. So if you're going through it, uh, you can handle it. You know, I know, I know a lot of you are like, dang, you know, it's like, man, but hey, that's the Lord trying you, you know, because <laughs> it's real test. You know, because you feel it. The Lord makes sure you feel it. You know, he, he don't take it easy on you. You know, um, just like look what happened to his son, our Lord. You know, he felt that. You know, he had to go through all that. You know, the Lord didn't, you know, just have, hey, the, have the Romans, hey, just take it easy on my son, you know. You know, nah, he, hey, he had to feel everything. Nor condemn him when he is judged. Wait on, when the 34th verse, wait on the Lord and keep his way. All right, so yeah, wait, be patient, and, uh, you know, just do the best you can. You know, none of us are perfect, you know, including me, myself. I'm far from perfect, but I try, you know, I try to be perfect. You know, I do my best. And he shall exalt thee and to inherit the land. There it is again, because uh, we are about to inherit the land. Lord willing, I'm part of that left. I can go in the first round, you know. But that's the beautiful thing, because even you two-thirds that are being a bunch of gremlins and degenerates out here, Huh? Uh, you guys are even going to inherit the kingdom. But you guys are going to be destroyed this round. But you're going to be brought back when the elect have children. You're going to be brought back as brand new babes. You know? And uh, yeah, you're going to enjoy that. You know, you're going to be immortal. All that. Super bodies. See? When the wicked are cut off, thou shalt see it. See, because you are going to see the reward of the wicked. Because the Lord's going to beat them down. You know, um, that scripture when the Lord says... Uh, Come, my people, into and tie thy chambers, because the Lord is gonna gather the elect, you know, by those tractor beams all around the world. You get that same Matthew chapter twenty-four, verse thirty and thirty-one. All right, because he's gonna, you know, get you when he gets here. You know, you guys are all gonna go up to safety, even those you that were put to death. Remember, you're gonna come right back to life in your brand new body. You know, and you know you're gonna be in the ships, and you're gonna have a window seat, and the Lord wants all of us to see what he does to the wicked so it doesn't matter if you're put to death it doesn't matter if you're still here all of us are going to see what the lord does the lord's saying i want you to see what i do to the wicked you know you know yeah so we're all we all we all have tickets to see what the lord is going to do to the wicked you know because the lord's like no you watch what i do to them it's like revenge you know because you want to see revenge on your enemies so the Lord's like, don't worry, you know, you're going to see it, you know. But the Lord's going to get all of us up to safety. And, you know, I'm humbly speaking, you know, because uh, I don't know if I, I'm part of the elect, but I'm, I'm hoping, you know, because uh, everyone's going to go up in those ships. You know, you're all going to have a window seat. And the Lord's like, okay, now uh, watch me work. I'll be right back. You know, I got a few words to say to these bankers. Hmm? Verse 35. I have seen the wicked in great power and spreading himself like a green bay tree. Verse 36, uh, Psalm 37 and 30, verse 36. Yet he passed away and lo, he was not. Yea, I sought him, but he could not be found. Because the Lord is going to just make him disappear. Mark the perfect man and behold the upright. For the end of that man is peace. See, because uh, you're righteous, you're, you're gonna get rest. You're gonna get peace. You know, you know, keep doing. You know, keep doing the best you can right now. But uh, you, your reward will not fail. Psalm 37, verse 38. But the transgressors, okay, those who are doing wickedly, you know, but you know that are doing it and being proud about it, because you know everyone's still gonna mess up, you know. But it's, are you sorry for it? Or, you know, are you gonna? Uh, pray for forgiveness and all that you know but the, you know those who are really you know wicked and stuff you know sold out and all that but the transgressors shall be destroyed together also oh, here's that scripture remember i said that uh the lord's not a uh, uh, uh respect their persons because okay for instance when uh, those icbms are shot off this is say over here in america or wherever you're at you know wherever wherever you're, you're at on the planet earth because it's not just going to hit america it's just that, you know, America is a main part where, you know, it's going to be uh, judged. But because the missiles are going to hit all over the, the earth, you know. 
but uh let's just say you know there's a lot of um there's a lot of uh you know people there you know and the righteous you know they get binged up so those who are down there who are still on the planet earth you know um remember the lord is not a respecter person so you're going to be destroyed together so that's why it says right here uh, psalms 37 and 38 but the transgressors shall be destroyed together because that let's just say the nuclear fire for instance okay it's not when those uh when those nuclear bombs are, are you know set off when they hit okay th when those uh nuclear warheads are going the fire the, nu the nuclear fire is just going to destroy everything in its path you know it's not going to look at somebody and say okay this person was only a little bit wicked oh that person right there was way wicked you know let's just put a little bit of lighter fire over here and let's just put more fire over there no you're everyone you know who is still here who are wicked you know it doesn't matter if you're just you know kind of like on level one you know being wicked or you're like high level you know mason you know like you're totally into like witch witchcraft and sorcery it doesn't matter you know your level it's gonna that fire is gonna it's gonna destroy you know you guys are gonna be destroyed together you know because the angels are coming to destroy swiftly too you know it's not like okay let's just take a little easy on them because you know they're only a little bit wicked no it's that fire is, is going it's not just gonna say okay look oh that person you know they're only like on level two. Oh, this person's level eight no it's together baby comprende oh yeah so let's carry on the end of the wicked shall be cut off they're they're about to be cut off huh you see Yes. Huh? Verse 39, but the salvation of the righteous is of the Lord. Huh? He is their strength in the time of trouble. You hear that? He is your strength in the time of trouble. Okay, peep this. Check this out. Here we go. The last verse. Okay, we're gonna bring we're gonna drive the point home. Okay? We're gonna drive it to home plate. Here we go. This is perfect. Perfect priest. Uh Psalms 37 and 40. All right, this is this one still is a deal right here. Check it out. Here we go. Psalms thirty-seven forty, and the Lord Yahweh Bashem Yahushai shall help them because you're not alone. They, the angels are here. The hundred forty-four thousand are here, compadre. Okay, and the Lord shall help them and deliver them. So He's gonna help you guys and deliver you in that time. See? So how great is that? Because you got help and he's going to deliver you in those ships. See? He shall deliver them from the wicked. So why is the, why why do you have to be delivered from the wicked? Let's just say right now. Okay, right now. Like, let's say you're hearing this. You're hearing this video. Okay, look around. Okay, people are shopping. Okay, you're probably at your house, your job, wherever. Okay? You know? Why do you need to be delivered right now? Nothing ain't happening. All right, you know, if right now you're chilling, you know, let's say you're chilling right now at your job, at your desk, you know, you're at your house, your living room. Why right now would you need to be delivered? Nothing's not even happening to you right now. Okay, you're probably eating some snacks, you got your coffee, your tea. So why right now would you need to be delivered? Nothing ain't even happening. You're like, you know, hey, let's go, to, let's go to the movies, let's go to the mall, you know, hey, drop, drop the kids off, happy wife, happy life. Hey, everything's just dandy, right? Because they are going to roll on us, you know? He shall deliver them from the wicked because they are going to roll. Because why right now would you need to be delivered? Just look around. Everything's fine, you know? You got Dallas Reigns, you know, you know, telling us about the weather. You know, he loves that tan booth. He loves that tan, he loves that tan booth, doesn't he? You know, it's a little bit too much, you know? He, he always comes out a little bit too crispy. He's like, dang, chill out, Dallas Reigns. He always got the new suit, too, you know? He always has a smile. He never has like a like a bad day, you know. He always has like a smile. It's like everything's like just perfect. Anywho, he shall deliver them from the wicked. See, because why would we need to be delivered? You know, if everything right now is cool, you got your coffee, you know, you're shopping, you're chilling, you know. But like, hey, what, what, the, what the heck's going on? You know, ain't nothing wrong. Because they are, you know, it's about to get bad out here. So we need to be delivered because it's about to get that bad. Remember, Michael's gonna stand up. You know, uh, Daniel chapter 12, verse 1, the angels are going to intervene because that's how bad it's going to be because they have top technology, you know, facts. And save them. See that? And save them because they trust in him. Booyah. Because they trust in him because you got to trust in them. 
So the Lord is saying, if you trust in me, I'm going to save you. See? He shall deliver them from the wicked. All right? Because that word uh, to be saved means that we got to be rescued because we're still here. We're not out of the woods just yet, remember? Because, yes, it's cool, you know, knowing, you know, it's beautiful, you knowing that, hey, you know the Lord, you're an Israelite, but, hey, don't get too proud, too puffed up. We're not out of the woods just yet, you know? Stay focused. And save them. So there it is. The Lord's going to save the hopeful elect because they trust in him. And there it is. All right. So um, that's uh, pretty much it on today's lesson, you know. Uh, keep enduring. Uh, do the best you can. You know, um, pray. Endure. Uh, on your feet, soldier. You know, and this is last call. You know, last call. Make the adjustments. You got to be stronger than your excuses. You know? You know, stop being weak. You know, on your feet, soldier. Let's go. Shalom.